Hey guys, it's Angie from the Lean Girl Guide. Um, I decided to change up my videos today. I don't want to start boring you guys with the same old thing. Change is definitely always good. That's why I'm always changing up my meals, always changing up my workouts. So I thought I would take it, take it in the same stride and change up my videos a bit. Um, today I'm talking about the difference between low intensity cardio and high intensity cardio and the long last question of which is better to actually burn fat. Now you'll probably hear the terms L-I-S-S and H-I-I-T when people are referring to the different types of cardio that they generally do. Now let me break one, each one down for you and then we can chat about how they equally affect your body and what are the best ones to do to actually burn fat. So because all of us don't have a lot of time, we obviously want to get the best bang for our buck and actually do the cardio that's most effective to burn fat. Now, of course, there's also um, heart health, which comes into play when we're talking about cardio, but this is specifically for fat burning. Now you have LISS, which is low intensity, steady state cardio. That's the type of cardio that you see people generally reading the latest Kim Kardashian news and cycling away for hours on um, a stationary bike. Um, or that would be maybe walking on the treadmill at a really slow, steady pace. You can hold a conversation and it's quite easy. And people generally do this type of cardio for an extended period of time. Then you have HIIT, which is high intensity interval training. Now, this can be something like sprinting on a treadmill, so it's bursts of really high intensity work with a rest in between. That can also be things like burpees, then you have a break, then you, you know, getting your heart rate up and down again. So those are the two different ones. Now, I've done a lot of research on this and I've of course trialed and tested it as I do most things myself. And it seems that HIIT, high intensity interval training, comes out tops. So let me explain to you why. And of course this is good news because you can actually do a shorter burst and get more results than spending hours in the gym on the dreaded treadmill or stationary bike or cross trainer or whatever, whatever your punishment is. So low intensity steady state cardio, what that does for you is it obviously burns calories. Now if we had to compare this to eating lower calories, so say you burn 300 calories walking on the treadmill for an hour. Um, if you ate 300 calories less that day, it would be exactly the same for your body. So there are no after effects of doing that cardio. It doesn't boost your metabolism. It's purely just calorie cutting. So of course, if you are planning to have a really big meal or you are just trying to cut down your calories, then of course, this would be the way to go. Low intensity cardio. Now let's look at high intensity interval training. Now what this is would be running on the treadmill, say you run really fast for 30 seconds and then break again for 30 and do this over and over for about 20 minutes. This could also be a high intensity um, range of work of different exercises, so that could be doing burpees and you're doing jumping lunges, so getting your heart rate going and then having a break in between. Now what this actually does to your muscles in comparison to the low intensity stuff is it actually activates um, your mitochondria. So when you start exercising, your body all of a sudden gets a boost of energy. That energy is coming from the mitochondria cells. Now what that exercise does is actually firstly in increases your mitochondria, which is definitely what we want. They are responsible for your metabolism. So that is speeding your metabolism up. And then the mitochondria also have an oxidative capacity. And so when you're exercising, then you're taking in more oxygen and then those mitochondria actually, it's quite technical, those mitochondria are actually responsible for you losing fat. And of course, this is actually for a 24 hour period that your metabolism is boosted. And of course, doing these type of exercises is also building lean muscle mass. And we all know the more lean muscle mass you have, the higher your metabolism is and the more calories you're actually burning. Another thing about low intensity steady state cardio is your body is just so good at adapting. So it's often the case that people need to do more and more and more cardio to get results because their bodies just get so used to doing the same pedaling, the same walking, and they actually just reset the metabolism. Whereas when you're doing high intensity training, it actually boosts your metabolism and it always shocks the muscles. So you'll find that you'll always have stiff muscles or a stiff body after you've done high intensity versus low intensity, you don't really feel it the next day. So that's why high intensity cardio comes out tops. So instead of doing hours of 
cardio, rather try and find a high intensity workout that can get those mitochondria going, increase your mitochondria, your metabolism, and of course that will help you get leaner at the end of the day. So I'm hoping to launch my workout plan, just taking a little bit longer than I, than I expected, but hopefully it's going to be um, come out awesome and you guys will love it too. That will be a lot of high intensity training, exactly the training that I do and I've got such phenomenal results with. So I'm excited to share that with all of you guys. I know you've all been waiting patiently for that. Um, otherwise, you can head on down to theleanquillguide.com and download my nutrition guide in the meanwhile. And um, you know, we all know it's 80% diet, so let's get that in check. Summer is around the corner, only about three months to go. So let's get our leanest bodies ever.